Alright, so recently I put my thoughts together on this subject and I'm going to share it with you. And it's essentially the idea that the money you make basically dictates your life to such a large degree, more than you'd probably ever think. Now that could just be my life. Maybe I'm unique in that way, but I really don't think so. That's why I think this is a you know incredibly important um, piece of uh, you know, information. So let's start at the bottom. This, uh, excuse me, one second, let me get my pen. Anyway, this is the poverty line. Right here is the poverty line, right? And you can either be under it or above it. Hopefully you're above the poverty line. It's not nice to be below it. Now this is kind of like level one. Um, once you're above or, or you've satisfied the poverty line, you're at level one. If you are below the poverty line, you're level zero. Now, money-wise, how much is that? Um, you're going to have to look it up for your country and adjust it for uh, currency and inflation and such. From the last time I looked in my country, it was like $450. So that was before, you know, house rent went up like 100 200 a week and the currency inflated like 30 40 percent so you know take that for what it is if you are below that you are simply really all you can focus on is survival now again this relates to the chakras so we'll just draw a simple uh, torso and head again we have our red chakra of the root here which is you know the bow being as the uh, root uh, tailbone region etc and you are at this level of life you're at a root level of life if you are under or just at the poverty line because at this point all you are trying to do is make money to survive you are just trying to make money so that you have food so that you have uh, some kind of housing or living and it's all about survival similarly if you live homeless um, you are fundamentally in a state of below this so you're at the lowest point of life if you are homeless if you earn under the poverty line of money which American wise is probably like let's say uh, I don't know 300 to 400 dollars I would say uh, per week that is if you earn under that you know you, you're probably under you know, the poverty line uh, right so people who are like this their personality is very much they could you know they could be physically and mentally ill they could be quite erratic they could be quite fearing um, they're not exactly the best people to be around, but the positive sides is that they actually can be very, sometimes they can be quite relaxed. You know, a homeless person who has accepted they're homeless and isn't, you know, uh, like a mentally ill kind of degenerate might actually be quite um, peaceful in a way. So there are things, you know, positive and negative that come with it. So then we go up to level two, which this is when you start to earn more than your um then the poverty line this is once your money starts to go beyond that and you can also relate so you can kind of relate this to uh, money energy experience and some other things right but Money is really the driving force I've found for this. It is really the driving force. Unless you are living in the woods, which let's assume you're in the woods and you've kind of just given up on society and you're just building your own tools and you're just living you know, a primitive life, then it's more based on experience and energy and such. If you're in society, it's all based around money. Life is all based around money in the current age, especially in the West. Now, this is more of a Western thing. Uh, if you live in a different country, a more traditional country, it's actually based more around um, family and friends and people and 
you don't have quite as a, quite as much of a kind of a, like a cut throat, cut and dry um, life based around money and wealth and all that. So things are a little bit different, but you know, there's this, still this kind of idea. But this is what I think of as like the drug bridge or the, um, the kind of, again, it's related to pleasure. So again, we have the sacral point of the chakra, which is the bladder, right? The lower, you know, below the belly. And what happens here is when you're earning slightly above or whenever you go beyond um, the, the poverty line or whenever your needs are satisfied to a decent enough extent that you can start to focus on enjoyment and pleasure of life. Usually this is when people start to yeah, use drugs as a way to go beyond. That's why it's like a drug bridge because you're literally, you're trying to go to the next level, level three, which, right. So you're trying to go to the belly chakra, which is the guts or the, um, you know, navel chakra from the sacral point and the way you do that is through essentially using pleasure as a method to ease stress of you know doing whatever you are doing whatever kind of work thing to um, push you beyond to make you do more work because uh, you need a lot more money you know to get to this point you need to be earning like American wise let's say 600 to like 800 a week this you know american wise is probably once you get to like 400 to 600 let's just say and this would be again anything uh if i can remember my you know, lower than 300 mm. right so then so this number three what happens here so number two again it's drugs it's pleasure it's tr it's stress relief to um take away the edge of the lower levels number three is when you start getting enough money to um buy luxury goods and also it relates to things like tools you know you just say you have a work you have some kind of work you'd start to buy tools um, beyond just the norm, you know, if you just, all you need is a hammer and a, and a, a saw, maybe you buy, buy a power saw instead, you make it a little easier in yourself. If you use a car to do your job, you buy a better car. This is when you start earning enough to be like, okay, maybe I can buy this, um, you know, computer or maybe I can buy this chair or you it really you start to get more involved in material possessions um, and ideally possessions which help your work instead of just buying you know small enjoyment good food you know alcohol uh, drugs whatever it happens to be at level two because you've satisfied your your survival then you want to satisfy your your desire of pleasure once you've satisfied your desire of pleasure, you start to satisfy your, your desire of physical objects, essentially, you know, material goods, uh, clothing, or utility goods as well. So this is utility goods. And so let's, let me just kind of put survival, uh, pleasure, utility, utility slash, um, leisure, leisure, goods. Right. Once you've satisfied that um, with the money, then your money, if once it goes up again to level four, which is kind of once you reach around a thousand dollars a week, um, that's when you can start. This is when things change a little. You go up to again the you know the heart center the heart chakra right which is to do with family and friends and family means relationship like intimate relationships your husbands wives etc and friends of course 
um, is friends and family can also mean your actual family. If you are not earning a good amount of money, you know, kind of an average amount of money, let's assume, this is like average, I guess this is kind of, um, once you get to average wage or beyond, a little bit beyond average wage, um, if you don't, if you're not at that point, it's actually very difficult to have friends and family um, and, you know, all that kind of stuff because you simply, you know, it's like if you are at a level of survival, you really don't want to be around people. You don't want to see anyone because you're paranoid that person's going to kill you, going to steal from you, going to insult you. You know, that's the kind of shit you have to deal with at a level of survival, a level of pleasure. You know, maybe you see people as a source to get pleasure. That's all you kind of see people as. It's like, all right, this person sells me drugs or, you know, um, or this person, you know, I, I, they're kind of entertaining or whatever. Right? Something like that. You don't have the scope of reality to kind of see beyond. The utility state is like, what does this person think about me? Um, does this person think oh, that I'm cool? Do they like my stuff? You know, what what kind of is my ego? What's my like you know, position? I guess you'd say friends and family. This is when you get beyond hierarchy. This is when you stop caring about like, um, you know, how do people think about you? How do people see you? you know, what's your position in the hierarchy? You don't really care anymore. You're earning enough money. You know, once you get at average wage or beyond it, um, you're kind of earning enough money that you stop really caring about that because it's like, well, you know, so much of your needs are satisfied. All of your lower needs, again, this is the lower body and this is the higher body and this is the middle realm. The middle realm is weird because what happens is that when you start to have more friends and family, you start to gain connections and people start to be able you can kind of do things for people and people can do things for you. you you're still at an equal exchange when you're below this at this level you're not at an equal exchange you have to give you have to give 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 you are slaving away at the society at these lower levels you are to you know to get the things you need you need a car you need a, a computer you know you need a a, a, a power saw or a drill or whatever things you need. You need you need fucking drugs to pacify your uh, severe psychological traumas and physical pain from living at this shitty survival level. This is this is literally fucking hell. A lower lower level of hell. And you've made it to the, the grass level. You've made it beyond the earth, beyond, you know, the lower realm into the middle, the middle dimension. And the reason why this is important, because things start to change drastically from here on out. Um, so if you are not at a, a level of your life where you can conceptualize having like a relationship or you wonder why do your relationships always fail or why is your family so disrespectful to you? If you're below here, your family, you know, your natural family, your parents, your, your, your siblings, your cousins, they will be disrespectful to you. Once you get beyond it, it's like they're little robot NPC programming changes and they're like, oh, okay, so for some reason I, I meant to value you now. Uh, of course, you know, don't forget all this shit that happens to you, but you know what I mean. Um, people are strange robots. In fact, once you get to these higher levels, you know, five, six, and seven, uh, people naturally respect you. They kind of gravitate to you. They, they like you. They want you. You know, um, good things happen to you. You just naturally have good, you know, magically, you just have good luck. All right, so... This is kind of when you start getting to like, let's say um, per year, let's say per year now, it'd be like 60 to 80K, I guess you would say. Um, I may probably like, yeah, 60 to 1, 2, 3, 80K per year, I would imagine, you know. I mean, I'll be honest, I haven't 
fucking anything close to that so <laughs> you know I don't, I don't know i don't know but i'm gonna i'm just gonna ballpark these numbers out let's say this is a hundred k plus so 100 100 k plus and this is kind of when you get to like one mil plus i would say let's do that though you could honestly say number five is 100k plus number six is a mil plus and then number seven is a billion plus um you know and then and we have average whatever average wage is is number four it's a heart chakra so let me just fill this out quickly so we can, we can get to the so throat as we all know uh third the indigo of the third eye and then the the, the kind of ultra purple of the crown so then we have again a pit of the throat um throat uh, third eye and crown now the interesting things is that the throat and the, the sacral can both take you up and down these are both kind of like um bridges they're both bridges you know you can get lost in the source of drugs of being high of you know pacifying yourself with pleasure that you you fall from the utility the leisure the ego goods area back down to survival because you're spending so much on pleasure surely the throat which is kind of like is travel this is where you start taking holidays right this is when you have the money where you're like all right i can take a holiday maybe once or twice a year you know, you set aside like let's say 8k for, for like a you know a really good like you know two two week holidays you, know, you spend 4k each on them you do like a like a about, I don't know, 1.5k for the trip, you know, and just, just, you know, budget all that. So travel, it's also teaching. Um, and all right, so I'll try to explain this level. Now, once you get beyond these, so this is upper world. This is obviously the sky, you know, upper world sky and lower or earth. Uh, it's, you can kind of think the roots bedrock the sacral is oil um, the navel is like clay the clay level of the dirt of the, the earth the heart is the greenery and you know, the plants and shit throats lower atmosphere third eye is kind of higher atmosphere um, getting into you know kind of the astral plane I guess and then crown is just like the, the, the literal peak of, of the, you know, the the void of reality uh, so to speak if you want to look at it as like you know as um you know the earth and the sky all right so what happens when you get beyond the lower level and beyond the middle level is that you actually start receiving energy you naturally start receiving energy and attention this is kind of the start of fame or the start of like have you ever noticed that like rich kids for some reason are just always famous and like if you if just say you, you you look at someone who's like really youtube famous um or social media famous they're always rich have you noticed that it's like never you really never find a poor person who's all that you know wealthy or they had to really build they really had to build it up so when you get you know once you get a beyond average income um, and you, you literally you bet you just become better than other people I guess in the most kind of you know raw way you want to put it um, financially you become better than other people you start to live a better life um, and when you know, what do you do when you go beyond friends and family you, you start to go into other realms you start to learn about other you know countries other places um, this can be the start of teaching where you you know maybe you teach you you, you've learnt your skills see the lower world is you learning your skills if you want to get like above the lower world money wise you have to learn skills you have to learn gain experience through fucking hell essentially through you know misery and hell of, of, of reality and, and let me just quickly um 
adjust some things. But that's how you kind of get above, is you, you just uh, suffer. You literally just suffer until um, you've learnt enough, until reality's like, all right, you know, you're, you're ready, you're ready to go, you know, to the next level. And um, if you have an issue, if you have a blaringly big hole, you know, you have a desire that for drugs that's too big, you have a survival problem, um, you know, your house keeps breaking or you, whatever, it's like back in the day, this would be the crop farm, your crop farm keeps failing. You can't support the higher levels and you have to go back to lower. So again, this is when, as I said, you've learnt your 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 skill, you've learnt your thing to make money. You can start teaching that to people um, to make money off that now. You know, this is when the environment start to change for you. Instead of these lower, chaotic, crazy, you know, stressful environments, you start to go beyond to the higher ones, which is like office levels. You work an office job, that's kind of, you know, um, it's kind of like this is like office and indoor jobs, this is like outdoor jobs, so to speak. So you get to that nicer, you know, the cleaner, fresher air, you get to the higher level of money. Um, this is more jobs like programming, you know, science is kind of up here, level six, you know, I guess, or, you know, kind of in between five and six, you know, science, programming, you know, office jobs down here is like business you know kind of around four and three that's like business finance money kind of stuff this is more like trade jobs number three you know, trade labor uh root, root uh root level labor is like at the bottom um this is kind of like uh what would you say like you know, customer services uh, probably like you know, i don't know maybe because it's a social job maybe around the, in the middle there i don't know anyway number six you know, I don't know much about the upper level, to be honest, but um, I'm going to try to tell you as well as I can. Number six here we have, this is kind of when you get free time. Uh, actually, anything beyond, anything beyond level four you start is free time, it really is. Um, so that's just kind of the thing, you know, you get more free time, the, the higher up you go. The lower down, the less free time you usually have, the more you have to work. Um, until you kind of work, 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 until you break that level four, you've got those family bonds, those friend bonds, and you don't have to work as much. Um, this is free time. This is like art and creativity, art, creative, um, science. This is like computers or kind of, it's like imagination. It's kind of once you get to the point where you're earning so much money, um, this is going to teach you about how rich children, you know, the, the um, kind of like the work SJW, all that nonsense. A lot of those are rich people's children that the rich people didn't teach their children properly. So what happens is that these children have too much fucking money, not enough life experience. They've never dealt with this, you know, They've never dealt with being in survival. Um, so what they do is they, they, they take a lot of drugs, you know, satisfy the pleasure. They take a lot of trips. Again, this, this you take too many trips or you say the wrong thing as a teacher, you're going to go down. I mean, of course, you can go up and down on any of these. You, know, you piss off the friends and family or you, you, know, you break your relationships and whoop, all the way to the bottom you can go. Um, yeah, I've done that one, being there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you can do this with anything. But but really, this one, you know, this is kind of when you see, I mean, this is kind of more like level five and six. You know, people on social media talking a lot of bullshit. Um, and you have to look at them and understand these are rich people's children. They have not struggled at all in their life. That is why they're so fucking stupid. Because they are from these upper class families. Uh, that usually, I mean, usually, of course, lower class people, I have seen it before, they do get indoctrinated into these stupid ideas. It's more because of their lower class mental illness, you know, from physical and um, mental issues that they have that they get indoctrinated. While the upper class people, it's because they, you know, the higher, the more money you earn, the more freedom you get and all that, and more like fame you get, the more you can just, reality just becomes like a dream. Because you know, things just happen quickly. You can buy whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. It's it's not really you're not you know looking at the rice, getting hard, thinking oh man fuck that's like ten bucks five kilo. That's pretty damn good. You know, that, like how how long could I live off rice for? Like whew. 
you know, you're, you're, you're really not thinking about that. You're thinking about, oh, isn't it so bad that, you know, people are mean or, or some people don't, you know, this or that, or it's like, you know, it's kind of like the communist people who don't realize that communism would be just, just hard labor. Um, that's, so that's, oh, that's kind of this level. That's the negative, negative of this level. The positive is, you know, art and creative and science and, and discovery and creation and all that cool shit, just creating, just creating stuff. So really it's a creative level, creative. So I guess once you get beyond about 100K or a mil, depending on what you want to, you know, what you want to kind of say it or see it as, you get to that point where you have enough free time um, you can be creative, you can do whatever you want, you can chill. You know, you can just you can just make cool stuff or you can just do cool stuff. Again, a lot of artists um, look into if they have a rich background or if they, they're trust fund children. You know, I, I've seen some amazing artists that are just, you know, flaunting like, like a like a 40, 60 K car, um, like a like a million plus dollar house, you know, probably like a five mil house. I'm like, fuck, no wonder you are so creative. You must have done nothing but like just whatever you wanted as, as a kid. That's kind of that level at least. Number seven is uh, rulership, kingship. This is your own country. This is this is just the CEO, the boss. Um, this is once you are, you know, once you're earning again, if it's over a mil or a hundred mil, you know, depending on what you want to see it as, this is kind of once you can do whatever the fuck you do, whatever you fuck you want. Um, the law doesn't affect you, you know, kind of beyond this level, the law doesn't really affect you. It's like celebrities and rich people and, you know, CEOs, they just, they, if I mean, they have to, they just pay things off. Otherwise, you know, they just get, get off free. Um, that's kind of how this stuff works. But anyway, yeah, really at this level of money, like you can do whatever the fuck you want. Um, you know, reality is yours. It's in your hand. Um, you would have such an expansive field of consciousness. Because again, this is money relating to field of consciousness, which it does, you know, it does influence. Now, here's the thing. You can access these higher levels and lower levels at any point, so to speak. Um, but you're kind of locked in. It's kind of like, yeah, you could go and walk to like the shops near you. But if you, you know, chances are if you go to sleep and wake up, you wake up in your bed, right? So like if you're at that level, you know, you wake up at survival. Yes, you could try to take a drug that gets you, take some acid, get your ass up here. But, you know, ultimately you're going to wake up in like a forest uh, surrounded by, I don't know, raccoons or something. And then realize, oh shit, you know, I'm homeless or whatever. <laughs> I just found some, some, uh, some SpongeBob acid, you know, with like a picture of a little SpongeBob on it or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're no, you're you're like an or you found like the tour and you're in like an airport, um, and trying to go to like Tibet or some shit, telling them that you're like a reincarnation or some of this or that. Yeah, you know, I mean you could try that, but ultimately if you're not actually physically at that level due to the money you earn, then yeah, you just you just fall back down the floor similarly if you have problems at one of these things like you just say you, you you lied to family or friends to get to that higher level or you you i don't know use shifty material goods you built a shifty ego to get to you know to build family and friends and you'll get shitty family and friends um so to speak or you know all that kind of stuff but like if you build your 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 house not on stone not on bricks you know then your house isn't gonna fall it's really that simple anyway hope you got the idea i figure that summarizes this this whole idea to basically your, how much money you earn is literally related to your consciousness the scope of consciousness i mean if you are having issues you, know, you want to get you know a relationship you want to travel you want to be more creative or you want to you know i don't know you want to get more more like cool shit like a better car or whatever you got to kind of look at your income and be like all right am i earning average income for my country 
Yes, okay, well, you can probably have a wife, you could probably have a husband, or um, a little different for women, actually, but, you know, whatever. It's like, you can kind of support this, you can support having friends. It's like, do you earn, are you under the poverty line? Well, okay, that's probably why you're, you know, suffering with, you know, a lot of illness or a lot of, a lot of stress. It's like, because you're at that low level, so, you know, boost your income and see what happens. Uh, sadly, that's kind of how the modern world works, at least in the West. But yeah, they're probably spreading to other countries. So anyway, that's about it. Feel free to check the links in the description if you're interested. And of course, have a nice day.